it's just like a magic world and it's a bit like the world of dreams. <laughs> Drakkers is a dream we've had going around in our heads for some time now. We wanted to invent some cool new creatures. So what Drakkers is all about is a deck of cards for collectors with its reality augmented. A start of play, you just present your card to the camera and the creatures start to appear. You're in the game, playing the cards and sitting there at the webcam. In fact, it's like going into a dream world. It's never been seen before. At the time when Benoit was first uh, having the idea, the, the technology called augmented reality was a new thing. What's really new was the technical challenge for us. That's the, the main point of the project. The main real difficulty we faced throughout the game was to do our best to avoid just referring back to games we knew. So then, you know, why not go further and start using the uh, possibility of adding onto an actual real image, a filmed image? And we came across some really interesting ways of doing things with the cars, things that just aren't possible with a notebook or a mouse. The computer or the game can recognize the cars, and they're basically just like normal playing cards. But they don't have those big symbols on them in black and white like they usually do. The aim is to make a collectible deck of cards, so we needed beautiful cards. So we thought, uh, in the end, it's really the computer itself that should be able to recognize cards that are just normal. We didn't put backgrounds in, no special environments, so it's completely all about the creatures. The whole thing, the project itself, it's based on the creatures. A Draco is basically like a sort of chimera, a mixture of gargoyle and chimera, a creature of the imagination. It has to be an animal that can fly, and that's why almost all of them have wings. Some of the creatures are really great in terms of design. They're so good you really feel real emotions because in fact you fight in an arena with your Draco and you have it take part in duels. At the beginning we thought about making them dragons, but we went for more creatures like this that are not like big monsters. The point is like companions in the story. I was probably inspired by what I saw in the classics, uh, stuff like manga or shonen, that feature quite often these sort of, you know, initiation stories with actual people who progress. And there's exploration too, led by the combat that's more and more and more intense. That means it's all accessible and uh, interesting. Uh, not just for players who are real card game fans, but also for those who like video games that are just more traditional. We wanted um, this product just to be not like any other game now being marketed and to rely upon all our strong points and our main strengths like creativity, imagination, originality. It was tough and it was tough from the start. We never felt like we were sure not to fail. It was quite tough technologically. It was tough too to make it real well balanced. So it's fun to interact with too and simple to grasp. Thinking about it, it all seems a pretty big risk. Yet the more the time passed, the more we said, hey, that's interesting, great. We made something that's really unique. We've made a good game we can have fun with. Oh yes, I do try myself playing the odd round and I fight a few duels on a regular basis. But the thing is there's guys out there that are really good and uh, most times I finish getting well and truly trounced. <laughs> The game works, everyone likes it, um, it's a bit addictive, and I know this is a really new technique and um, I'm pretty sure that we're onto something new here.